Hey everyone, it's Amanda Monica Arlumi, and we are here today with this tutorial for our friend NixNox21 on Instagram with her new design called Winter Blooms. Here are the two examples that we have made. This one's blinged. Here is our friend Nix Knox's Instagram page, and here is where she has her Winter Blooms bracelet. And this is what we are going to be doing today, or very close to it. Here is her account. She is our Mars. We love her. And she was very kind to ask us to do her tutorial for her gorgeous new bracelet, Winter Blooms. So this was the first one that we did, and it is six, essentially six of the blooms, basically, and it will fit a larger wrist if you do six of them. So it will fit me, a little bigger of a wrist. And this was done with five of the blooms, and this will fit an average size wrist. So today we are going to do one that will fit an average size wrist. And in this one, I want to tell you the colors that we use because um, a lot of people, we always love to read the comments and a lot of people are asking um, what some of the colors that we use that we haven't talked about in the tutorials and some of the example bracelets were. So the surrounding color right here is the Persian black 600 count the golden here is jelly gold the purple right here is the Persian or the Egyptian purple 600 count and all the way here on the inside is the Persian or the Egyptian 600 count turquoise so that's that one and on this one this one around the outside has the Liberty, the new Liberty Blue bands, and it has little uh, six E beads around the edges. And then for the flowers, I use the um, the finger looms, the blue finger looms, the bands that come in that pack, which are like a blue, a light blue, and a white, which I'm not for sure if the white is glow in the dark though. And then I used, oh, you can't see it much over there, I used glitter blue bands for around the edge and then more of the Liberty blue. And instead of doing cat band in the middle, I put a little bling charm in the middle. You can't really see it, but you know we love to bling. So there is our version. Today we will be using iridescent or white glitter bands, silicone silver, the navy Egyptian 600 pack, and the turquoise Egyptian 600 pack bands. All from RainbowLoom.com. You can order them. We always use RainbowLoom.com products. We love them. That's what we will always be using when we do our tutorials and when we loom. They are the best. For the configuration today, it will be a five pin setup and a V stagger configuration. I will be doing them on two loom setup, but you will not need the full two looms. It will stop around about here. So, Go get your essentials, your bands. You'll need a C-clip. I'm gonna be using one of the larger C-clips um, because you're gonna have a lot of bands to put on there. And come right back. All right, so after looking at Nick Knox's picture one last time, I decided I'm going to add in some glitter blue bands as well. So I just wanted to say that before we started. So there's gonna be five colors, not just four. It's gonna be like an accent color so that's, I just wanted to say that before we got started. So the first color we're going to start with is the Egyptian Turquoise 600 pack. And what you're going to do is you're going to take two of them 
because we always like to have a secure connection at the very beginning. And you're just gonna lay them down on that first peg, right in the middle, the third peg. And then you're gonna use single bands and you're gonna go to the left, to the left, to the, sorry. I just had to start singing, sorry. I hope I don't get copyright infringement. Um, and then keep going. So you just done two bands, one, single bands of this one and this one. So now we are going to go up to, I always start on the left side, I'm a lefty. You're gonna go up two on both sides. And then you're going to go in two times on both sides. Now we have our first flower part of the winter bloom. Now what we are going to do is we are going for the edges. Let's look at this one. On the edges, you see how it is all black here? And then it goes purple. So instead of you having a bloom, it's a straight bracelet, which I find really cool because you can change up the colors on the sides. So that is what we are going to do. And we are gonna use the silicone um, silver, that band was a little messed up. Very meticulous about what bands to choose. You go up two on both sides. And then we're going to do the color that is right next to them. On here we used the Egyptian turquoise on this bracelet. We are going to be doing the iridescent glitter. And you're going to be going from that second pin where the bloom is right here, up. And from that first pin to the second pin. So you make a V. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And now we're gonna start on our second bloom. So you're just gonna do the same thing that you did to the first bloom, to the second bloom. Oop, I pulled the wrong color. Okay, so I went over two on both sides, and then I'm gonna go up two. Now I'm going to go over two on one side and over two on the other side. I will say you need to keep whatever side you start with, um, you need to start with that side uh, all the way up the bracelet because it will keep you a lot, uh, it will keep it a lot easier for you to figure out which bands on top later on. So you don't have to figure out, well, do I start with the left side or do I start with the right side? So I always keep it with my left side since I'm left-handed. So if you're right-handed, it'd be easier for you to do it from the right side. That helps me remember. Now I'm starting with the silicone silver again. I'm going up two on each of the outside pins. And then I'm going for the iridescent glitter bands to make this V. I was looking through the bracelets that I've made and I use a lot of iridescent glitter. It's just so pretty. All right, I'm going to do one more of the blooms with you and then I will go off camera and finish the other two. So each, if you're, if you're making this for an average size wrist, you should have five of these blooms, basically. It's the outside. If you're making it for a wrist that is seven, 
and a half to an eight inch wrist like mine, you'll need six. of the balloons. Before I started looming, it was so hard to find really cute bracelets that would fit my wrist. So this way I can fit them to me and I don't have to worry about it. And I can make them just the way I want. All of our creative juices are flowing. All right, so there's my third one. Now I'm gonna go up two with the silicone silver on both sides. And then I have the glitter, the iridescent glitter that I'm gonna make the V's with. And now I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna make two more of these um, blooms right here. And I will come right back all right, I have now gone and made five, one, two, three, four, five of the blooms. And as you can see, there's still extra room left to make if you need to make a sixth bloom. So it can be made on two of the five pin um, loom set up. And what we're gonna do, or what I need to tell you first was on this last one that you do, you don't have to put the silicone silver and the iridescent glitter down here because this is where the end of your bracelet is going to be. So you're not gonna put it here at the end. So let's go on to the next step. And this next step can be done with one color or it can be done with two or as many as you want. I'm gonna do it with a couple colors just because I decided after looking at Nyx Knox's 21's um, Instagram photo. I was trying to get as close to it as she had um, that I wanted to use a couple just to make it a little different inside. So what we're going to start out with first is I'm going to start out with the glitter blue and I'm going to go from the third pin bar up and now I'm using iridescent glitter or some people call it white glitter. And then iridescent glitter again. So I've made almost an arrow here. Blue, iridescent glitter, and iridescent glitter. And then I'm gonna go with the iridescent glitter again and go straight up. Oops, straight up on this side. And then I'm going to use the, the blue glitter and go from that second pin to that first pin. Do the same thing on this side. And then I'm using the iridescent glitter now. I just went from this one to this one. And now, I don't like the shape of that band. Go from here to here. Push them down. Now I'm going to take the iridescent glitter again. Let's start over here. Remember, I always just start with the one side and then go over here. Now I'm going to do the glitter blue. Do glitter blue over here. And then you're going to go from here, here. here here and then grab the iridescent uh, iridescent glitter and go from that third pin to that second pin third pin to the fourth pin and then you're going to grab one last glitter blue and go straight up now we're going to repeat the same pattern in all of the blooms and I'm going to do one more bloom with you. So we're going to have the blue glitter, iridescent glitter, iridescent glitter, iridescent glitter up, 
your Justin glitter up. Blue glitter. Blue glitter. Iridescent glitter. Iridescent glitter. Oops. I need another iridescent glitter. That would have been bad. Iridescent glitter. Iridescent glitter. Now we put the blue glitter on. Blue glitter. Iridescent glitter. Iridescent glitter. Iridescent glitter. Iridescent glitter. And finally, a last blue glitter. I'm just pushing them down some because we still have some more bands to put on there. So I'm going to go off camera and finish these last three and I will come right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Okay, so here is the last one that we did, or that I did. And we're just going to go right on back to the beginning. Alright, now we're using silicone silver. And I use silicone silver a lot as well. So you're going to start at the third pin and you are going to go up to the second, the third pin bar and go up to the second pin and go from the second pin to the second pin on the second pin bar. Now you're going to go from that band up one. And from that band, up one, or over, to the fourth pin. So what you did to that side, you're going to do to this side. So you went from this second pin to this second pin. You went from the second pin to the third pin. And you went from the third pin on this pin bar to the fourth pin on this pin bar. I'm going to push them down so you're making a smaller bloom the inside of the bloom of the bigger bloom so now let's get one two oops three Ooh, I don't like that band Sometimes I'll get a bag of bands and they will not be nice. Granted, it's like negative 13 here. I do need to make another order. Just saying. <laughs> I'm a band hoarder. Okay, going on all of these in the middle. I'm not even going to go off camera. I'm just going to wing it. Is it okay if you know, listen to my jib jab? It was so cold today that we had, that sounds like a joke, it was so cold. Um, we had a two hour delay at work. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher of students with special needs. Love it. It's not like work. But anyways, we had a two hour delay and the kids were wired for sound. They were all off schedule. I enjoyed it because I got two extra hours of sleep. All right, so we have our five blooms that have their interior little bloom. Now we are going to use the Navy Egyptian 600 bands and we are going to make the interior blooms. And this is essentially kind of like a starburst, but you're not going to start um, at the starburst. You usually start at the 2 o'clock mark. Right now, on these, we're starting straight up from the bottom and going all the way around in a clockwise motion. Okay. 
because on the starburst it matters where you start because the one in front of it is linked. These are not linked to it, to each other, like the starburst is. Just going all around each one of these. And I'm pushing down in the middle, especially because we're gonna put a cat band on there. After I do all of these, I'm just going to stay on camera for this too. Because I know you just like me talking. Oops. Alright, I have gone through four of the blooms. I have one more to go. Really? Really? Why? There we go wasn't catching onto the pin. All right, so now this is up to your preference. I'm doing it the way Nix Knox sent us information. But what you can do is you can do either a double cat band, just like this, or you could do a triple cat band for in the center of these, okay? It depends on how tight you want this middle section right here where it's the uh, turquoise blue, uh, Egyptian blue, depending on how tight you want those. So we are going to just do doubles right now, but you can triple cap it if you would like. I'm going to start right here. One, two, one, two, one. Has anybody ever had a cat man fly back and hit them? I'm not going to say anything, but this person may have. Okay, so we are now done placing bands. The only band we have left to place is our cat band, but we are not placing that just yet. We have to do some looping first. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your loop around, your loop, your loom around. And we're not starting right here. You need to get your hook. I finally found my blue hook again. I had lost it for a while. You know where you go when you go looming and you lose stuff? That's kind of what happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the middle and go out on each one of these blooms. So right here, I'm going to start. And I'm going to pull that double cat band back. And I'm going to find which band is on top. If you put the bands on, like I, I showed you, um, it's going to be this band right here that's going to be on top. So pull the cat band back. And sometimes you have to hold the cat band. It'll like to flip up and loop it back to itself. So you make a teardrop. And you're going to go all on all of these navy Egyptian 600 count bands and do that making little teardrops once you get the first one or two down you can actually go in from the side and it's easier so I get this last one okay I'm gonna do one more with you and then I'm gonna go off camera pull your cat band back Pull that first one around. All right, I'm gonna keep going on this one. Pulling that cat band back. Usually after you get that second one down into a teardrop, you can grab it from the side. And it's a lot easier to grab each one of those. So I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to loop those other three. I'll be right back. 
All right, so all of them have been looped. Now what we are going to be doing is going here and we are going to be getting those silicone silvers and looping them. So on this first one, what you're gonna to have to do is pull those Egyptian navies back and grab the top silver one. And since I started with the left, it should still be on the left on this side since you turned the loom around. You're gonna take it back to make a teardrop on itself. You're gonna go through both the silicone silver and the navy Egyptian on the second one to loom up that second silver one. What usually helps me when I have to go through a lot of bands like that is I will just pull back all of them until the correct one pops off of the back of my hook and then I'll grab it. I'm not saying it always works, but that's what I do. I think I talked about that in serendipity a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna go off camera and do the other three. You're just doing one side and then doing the other. I like to push them down to make sure none fall off. And I'll be right back. All right, so I looped out all of the silicone silvers. Next are the glitter uh, blue and the iridescent glitters. So on this one, we're gonna go in this big hole right here, and we're gonna go from behind, and we're, we're gonna grab the first band that's on top of this pin right here. So pull this band back, and it should be your glitter blue, and pull it back to its origin. It's right here. This is the reason why we don't have the cat bane on there yet. And then you're going to grab the next one that comes. And then finally, this one. Now, like I said before, if you start on one side, you need to continue throughout the whole bracelet on one side. So I'm going to go to this left side. You can go to the right if that's how you started. But I'm going to go into this band right, or this um, pin right here. And I'm going to grab the top one, which is an iridescent glitter. Then I'm going to grab the next one, which is a blue glitter. And then finally an iridescent glitter. Now I'm going to go back to the pin right across from it that's parallel to it. Pull those bands back and grab that iridescent. At this point, there's a big enough hole that you don't have to worry about having to pull it back now. Just make sure you go inside of it. Pull the blue one back and then pull the iridescent. Now I'm going to go back and go to the pin above it and pull the band on top, the iridescent, and then pull the next one, which is blue, and then iridescent. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side the pin that's parallel to that one. And then we have this pin that has a lot of bands on it because you have those two silicone silvers that have come together right there at the end. So you're going to have to pull all of those back and make sure you pull all of those silicone silver ones back. And you're going to pull that top one, which for me it's the one on the left hand side because I started on the left hand side then the right hand side and finally the one that goes parallel or uh, up and down I couldn't find my words okay so I'm gonna do one more with you and then I'm gonna go off camera 
We're gonna go in behind that navy Egyptian and you're gonna pull that one back. Now I'm just going, grabbing each one, going to the left side, pulling those bands back of the navy Egyptian and the silicone silver. And then getting them all. Then I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to grab that one. Then I'm going to go up here. And the second one. Third. First. Second. Third. This one's a hard one. Make sure you get all those bands back. Let's see. First. Second. Third. All right. So I'm going to go off camera and do these last three, and I will be right back. All right, so now we have done all five of the blooms, and here is when we are going to, here at the very end, put our cat band. Now, we are using two bands. You can use one. We just like to make sure to use two a lot of the times, or one triple capped, depending on the bracelet, um, but we're going to use two today to just make sure it's nice and secure. And we're going to double cap it. Then we are going to start our perimeter. Now I will tell you each one of these are going to be kind of hard to get um, off of the um, bands because as you can see there are a lot of bands on each one of these pins. So do this very carefully. Pull the cat band back, get that band on top, make sure the cat band stays on, and pull it to that pin that it goes to, where the other end of it is. Pull all of those bands back, grabbing the turquoise. By the way, we did use a turquoise cat band because our perimeter is turquoise Egyptian. Make sure you get all of those bands back. Okay, now is here. Now, now is here. Now is here where you would probably think you would go straight up. But for the blooms, you're going to follow the turquoise Egyptian up to this point right here. Now each one of these should be making a teardrop. If they're not making a teardrop, you might have grabbed the wrong band. Okay, so we have gone to this point right here. We have one of the balloons all loomed out. Now we have to, to loom these two um, edges out right here. So we're going to start by looming this band that goes from here to here out. So pull all the bands back and grab that iridescent glitter and put it up. Pull all the bands back, grab the luminous luminescent glitter um, and pull it back and then before we do this other side we have to go back in and pull all the bands back and we're going to grab the turquoise Egyptian again and we have to pull it back to this one now you're going to go in and grab that glitter and grab the glitter on this side 
Then the next step is to go and finish out the Egyptian turquoise. So you, both of the points are right here, but we still need to loop out our silicone silvers. So let's start on the left side. Go one and two, and then go on this side, one, and pull it back, two. Okay, so now is where we are starting the side portion of the second bloom. This next band should be a Egyptian turquoise. You go up to on both sides. And then you're going to go in to on both sides. Now, if you feel tension on your band, you may need to help it out with your other hand and not just your hook because you don't want it to um, break. Use all this work and, oh no, it breaks. That's not good. All right, so we have looped out up to here with the Egyptian turquoise. Now we are gonna grab this glitter here. Grab the glitter here. And then we're gonna loom here all the way. Oh, well, we're gonna loom here to here first. Make sure you pull back all the right the Egyptian turquoises so you can get that glitter band next. Okay, I wanted to make sure that was the right band because it wasn't making a teardrop. All right. Pull back all the bands that you need to until you get to that glitter this luminescent glitter over here and then you're going to finish out the looming so you get to the outside edges which is one more loop now we have the silicone um, silver that we're going to go up to on each side so after this I am going to go off camera and finish the last three and I will be right back and we will be completed with the bracelet so finish up if you did not understand how to do this one just rewind the video and see if you can catch it be right back all right so i just wanted to show here at the bottom how to loom out this last flower the last two bands that i have pulled up were the silicone silvers I'm going to pull those bands back and the bands that I'm grabbing now are the Egyptian turquoise. This is the last bloom. It's got a little tension on it so I'm helping it around. All right, so it is entirely loomed out, and you should have these two bands here at the top. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in through all of those bands and pull them back. And you should have those two bands right there to pull up. And then you should put all four ends of the two bands on your hook. I'm gonna grab the large C-clips that come with the sweets, um, the silks, the sweets, the Persians, the Egyptians, and the pearls. I think that, I think I covered it all. I hope. All right, and then you're just going. I always like to pull the cat band up so that there's less band like width, so that I can actually get the C clip on there easily a lot easier that way now we are going to relieve some of the tension that's on this so that you aren't ripping it off and breaking all these bands and going oh no I broke it all that work and it's all gone so I'm going to take all of the bands off of the first 
and the fifth pin bars with my hook. I do love my glitters, but that glitter gets everywhere. I'll be at work tomorrow and I'll have glitter on my face. <laughs> Kids be like, Miss Monica, what's on your face? Nothing. Nothing. All right, and then I'm just taking the cat band off. And the first couple at the top just so it kind of will pop off easily and then kind of wiggle it back and forth this one isn't really hard to get off of the loom like this isn't what I call a loom face flopper because I have had on video just so you know um, some that have flown back and hit me in the face because they were so tight. Okay, now you, what you're just going to do is to stretch it out. Make sure all of your bands are in the correct places and everything. And this is a gorgeous combo, I will have to say, to our Mars. All right, so here are the three versions that we have done for you. Here is the one that we did today from, this is um, from the inspiration from our beautiful Mars's Instagram, Miss Nix Knox 21, the designer of this gorgeous Winter Blooms bracelet. We love it so. So here is our version of the blinged version. Here is the larger version with the Persians and the Egyptian 600 count bands. And this is our version that we did on the tutorial today. Love all three. I'm sad to say that Amanda may be getting two with them because they're too small, but I will be remaking those. But if you choose to make our beloved Mars's uh, Winter Blooms bracelet, if you would please tag her, Miss Nick Snox, on Instagram, Nick Snox21. She is awesome. We love her. She is our bestie. And if you would please tag her in hashtag Nick Snox21. Also, if you choose to make this bracelet, if you will tag us and hashtag us, Amanda and Monica are Lumi. We would love to see everyone's creations. I mean, just today, the creations that are flowing by just looking at some of our Mars's creations on her Instagram account, we always love them. So, the possibilities are endless. If you like this video, if you would please hit the like button down below and leave us a comment. We always check up on those. We try to do or say if it is a possibility in our videos, something that you have asked us to. Also hit subscribe if you would like to check out more of our videos and get notifications when new ones pop up. And today we're doing a new thing where we tell everyone what bracelets we are wearing. So on my left hand, I have the Love Lock bracelet by our Miss Lumi Mama. Sorry, Lumi Mama. This is by our Lumi Mama, and the tutorial is on our channel. We were so gracious that she asked us to do the tutorial for this. We love it. And this is our blinged version of the Nova bracelet by Miss Lumaniac. Love it. And of course, there's owls in it because I'm slightly obsessed with owls. Owls and skulls, sugar skulls to be as exact. So everyone, please come back and see our tutorials. We have amazing tutorials coming up. We have some really cool ones, just saying. All right, check back with you later. Love you, bye.